Hi everyone, uh, Happy New Year again. And my name is Andre. I'm a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner in Vancouver, BC. Um, today's topic is going to be. Um, I just gonna. I want to explain what is uh, kidney deficiency, because it's a term that being used uh, quite a lot in. Um, in the world of TCM, whenever I don't know if you have some TCM experience, you've been to uh, acupuncturist or a TCMP, uh, or your family who has been, um, they might heard of um, <coughs> kidney. Somebody being diagnosed as a kidney deficiency or kidney chi deficiency, or kidney yang deficiency, or something related to kidney deficiency but it's a term that is so broad that nobody really know exactly what it means and uh it's, and uh, funny thing is in asian community when uh because we've been familiar with tcm all, all our lives and when somebody tells you that you have kidney deficiency especially for men, they the only thing they think about is their sexual ability, their libidos and being uh, being jeopardized, or the, the doctor is telling you you're no good in bed. But actually, that's not completely true because um, <clears throat> kidney has uh, has a lot of functions, not only just sexual reproductive functions. Um, so when if you hear some, your doctor tell you that um, your kidney is deficient, uh, don't jump to conclusions yet, and don't be just scared by him, and don't also be be a uh, denial that you're perfect, perfectly fine in bed, and you have no trouble with your sexual activities. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's the funny thing, especially you know men when when uh, people talk about their sexual ability it's like they are telling they are giving them like personal attacks or uh, some sort of insult it's uh, like a no-no territory so nobody talks about my business uh, around me especially my doctors right <clears throat> but um, I just want to get across like kidney not only in controls of our uh, sexual and reproductive functions. Um, <clears throat> it has a lot of other functions too. Um, first thing that you should know, kidney is um, like in Western med medicine uh, perspective, kidney is supposed to filtrate our blood, right? And recycle whatever is in our blood back to our body and then filtrate out all the, all the junk and the toxins uh, into urine, right? <clears throat> So that's one of the major functions uh, in, of kidney in TCM is to uh, help with the water metabolism. So whenever you're water, you have water metabolism issues, kidney usually pr plays an important role uh, in it. And <clears throat> it's very common that uh, when somebody has uh, kidney issues, any kind of t kidney issue, the fi first sign that will show up is uh, in your urination. So it doesn't mean that you have like really serious urination problem. It can be something minor, like it just, uh, it can be like you have to get up during your sleep to pee a couple times a night, uh, or that you cannot hold your pee very long, or um, even if something like uh, after you have a cup of water, you need to go to bathroom within an hour or maybe within a half an hour and you have to go multiple times. These are all signs of like abnormal urinations and it can uh, link directly back to uh, kidney issues and because kidney controls our water metabolism. And the second thing um, everybody uh, I just talked about is the sexual and reproductive function of our <clears throat> of our body. This uh, not only applies to men, also applies to women because um, <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, in Chinese medicine, kidney holds the uh, essence for uh, reproduction of our, uh, for our, you know, or for children. So it car in Western medicine, it carries a DNA, and uh, our kidney has this important function of uh, helping us, you know, carry on, carry on our names and uh, our lives. <coughs> And the uh, third, third function is that the kidney, um, <coughs> the nutrient of the, from the kidney actually goes up from the spine to, to our brain, <coughs> uh, like that. Sorry, that's the, that's my drawing of the brain. Probably not very good, but anyways. So the kin the nutrients in the kidneys, they go up to supply your brain. So whenever you have like, uh, major brain activity, you're kind of draining, you're using the energies or the nutrients from the kidneys. So, for example, when you're studying or when you're working and you have to think a lot, you have um, consider many things uh, for your work, or you're constantly worried uh, about something, you know, always very tense, um, always uh, in deep thoughts, um, so that's that's normally how you um, you use the nutrients from the kidney. But if you are overdoing it, you're constantly worrying about things, you know, constantly thinking, or you have to study a lot, um, you might cause some uh, deficiency from the kidney because you have to use a lot of nutrients, and if you cannot uh, supply the nutrient back to the kidney from the food. Um, then you end up with like a low supply of nutrients that will cause some sort of kidney deficiency. <clears throat> and uh, in Chinese medicine, kidney also controls our bones. So the health of our bones in our body is uh, governed by the kidney. So uh, these bones are including the bone itself and also the joints. Um, so somebody who's uh, who has a kidney deficiency, they they might have some sort of joint uh, problem, like or even arthritis or some bone density issue, like osteo. Uh, what's the term? Sorry, I forgot the term. Anyway, <clears throat> so basically, a low density of your bone, <clears throat> and not only that. Uh, our, our teeth uh, is also considered part of our bone in TCM. So uh, in TCM we say the uh, abundance of bone uh, will become the teeth. So basically what it means is that the nutrient that goes uh, from the kidney goes to the bones and whatever is left will nourish the teeth. So <clears throat> somebody who has kidney issues will might, might have uh, teeth issues. Uh, for example, like, you know, when people get old, they, everything is, uh, everything, every function of their, bo of their body is lower. So even the, uh, even applies to the kidney. So when old people have like low kidney, uh, let's say low kidney functions, and they have, they tend to have like loose teeth or um, some other teeth issues too. And this also applies to children who has, um, who tend to get like a lot of cavities. Um, <clears throat> it can happen like when your kidney's not, because in children, kidney's not fully, uh, let's say not fully grown yet. Um, so they they might have some sort of kidney deficiency signs in, in their teeth. So uh, they might have, tend to get a lot of cavities or even in adults, some people tend to get cavities more than others, and that can be a sign of uh, uh, kidney deficiency too. And the next thing is um, the hair, like the what we say is the kidney manifest in the hair. So hair on your head. Uh, for people who gets a lot of gray hair, you know. Um, like it's common knowledge that when you use your brain a lot, you tend to get more gray hair uh, during that period. So it's because all the nutrients from the kidney are used up by the brain, so not enough to 
supply the hair so you tend to get more gray hair when you run out of supplies and some people who get um, who get gray hair uh, early on like a really early age like even in the 30s or 40s uh, it can be a sign of kidney uh, lacking the nutrients <clears throat> so when we say deficiency it, it means it's something is isn't enough like right? so for example if this is a normal level uh, this is called excess it's too much and this will be deficient meaning not enough so <clears throat> Uh, that's when I when I say deficiency. That's what I mean. And uh, the next thing also is a kidney has well, we, it's uh, it has a, like a warming function. So <clears throat> uh, the kidney is responsible for uh, supplying uh, heat to our to our body. So somebody who's like tend to feel cold from inside of their body it can be a lacking of uh, it can be a, a type of kidney deficiency I'll explain later on how to differentiate uh, what's what um, <clears throat> so just remember kidney has a warming function too and uh, then final but the most important thing is that um, <clears throat> when when we were born we're given the energies that we get from our parents are stored in the kidneys. So <clears throat> when we're born, we have abundance of uh, kidney energy. And this kidney energy will be depleted as we age. And um, <clears throat> some of it can be uh, supplemented by the food that we eat and uh, by resting and by exercising but generally it were it was is still uh, will deplete but just depending on how fast it is and how healthy your lifestyle is so imagine that um, when you're born your parents uh, set up a, a saving account in the bank for you and they put in lots of uh, their money just for you so you can spend it use that saving account for from you're born until the day you die so that's basically uh, the idea of a kidney energies and uh, so as you live on you need to spend money you need to, you take money out of the saving account to pay for whatever you need and when you have a job uh, with a salary and yeah, you will be able to um, you know save some of the salary and put it back to saving account so you your saving account kind of stays in a healthy level it's not like completely depleted and you're able to you know get on with your life and do some spending or take some vacations or do some shoppings normally uh, within your limits but um, <clears throat> if you're somebody who who doesn't know how to put money back to your saving account you kind of just you just spend 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 every day you're gonna deplete your saving account before you die so you're gonna end up probably dying sooner than than you were expected or your body is gonna be very very unhealthy uh, it can be to a point that you're just bedridden and you couldn't die and your body's no longer functioning and you're relying on whatever machines keeping you alive so <clears throat> it's very important that uh, kidney has um, you have to know that kidney is like a saving account it stores the energy and because it stores the energy it has a function it has a major function of um, uh, kind of getting keeping the energy in it within it so some um, I want to make an example like for somebody who who tend to overspend they don't have a habit of saving so <clears throat> they're spending money every day from their saving account they don't have they don't work they don't put money or they don't put money back into the saving account they don't have a habit of saving so um, you're if you're someone like that 
um, your kidneys or your you it's gonna know that okay uh, my owner likes to spend so I'm gonna forfeit my storing function I'm gonna forfeit my saving advice to the owner and I'm just gonna keep supplying money uh, to keep let the, my owner take down the money as much as he wants and I'll let them live whatever he likes to live until the saving account is completely depleted so <clears throat> if someone like that has a lifestyle of you know not knowing uh, when to when to rest when to stop or um, <clears throat> I went to or someone who's um, <clears throat> who tends to have too many too much sexual activities um, it's it in terms of uh, view of from our TCM perspective they they only know how to spend they don't know how to save so they are gonna train their kidneys um, just knowing let them spend let them spend and without uh, absorbing or restoring the the nutrient or the energy is supposed to keep it at a healthy level <clears throat> so that can be a it's a very common issue uh, nowadays um, and it happens to a lot of people so <clears throat> so <clears throat> what you can do is for this type of person they need to cut back their spending and they need to learn and also retrain their kidneys how to how to save again how to store energies again um, <clears throat> because if you don't do that you're gonna age very quickly you're gonna look for older than your actual age or you're gonna die sooner than uh, than your expected life <clears throat> so that's generally the functions the major functions of kidney so if any of these functions have have some uh, sort of abnormal abnormal activity and we can consider that uh, you might have a kidney function kidney function issues kidney deficiency um, <clears throat> now there are many types of uh, kidney deficiency I know um, everybody's definition will be a little different from the textbook uh, from whoever you see or whoever your acupuncturist learn from there can be a slight difference between the the definitions but here is uh, my definition so whenever you <clears throat> whenever you hear about kidney chi deficient so that's the basic function of the kidney being deficient so uh, what we just uh, just talked about uh, water metabolism sexual reproductive function or your um, something to do with the brain activity or your, your bone your bone density your hair um, <clears throat> or just the storing function of the kidney so just the basic function they can we can call it kidney chi functions so whenever these functions uh, have deficiency we call it kidney chi deficient and the next thing is the yin and yang of the kidney I believe everybody heard of yin and yang but now no, uh, you don't exactly know what they mean so um, yang is like a warming energy like a warming function so whenever you hear um, somebody says kidney yang deficiency that means your kidney is not able to provide enough body heat to your body so uh, this type of person generally feel very cold they need to wear a lot of clothing and they can feel this cold is actually uh, coming from inside of, of their body or even coming from inside of their or their bones so that's the type we call kidney yang deficient and <clears throat> the kidney in is basically just the nutrients uh, from the kidney so the nutrient that I said supplies to the brain when you have a lot of brain act activities uh, or somebody called it the kidney essence too so basically it's a very very 
concentrated nutrients that uh, will supply your brain, uh, help your brain function. And this essence also supplies your reproductive function as well. So uh, for men, it can, you'll be like semen and uh, sperms. Uh, also comes from this kidney nutrient or kidney essence. Uh, for females, um, actually female doesn't have uh, sperms like men, but uh, they female when they have sexual activities, uh, they are, uh, their vagina will have those uh, uh, those fluids, and those fluids are considered kidney essence or kidney nutrients as well. So whenever you have uh, sexual activity, uh, it consumes kidney kidney essence, and it doesn't matter if you have orgasm or not. Um, when you have kidney uh, sexual activities, they will consume the kidney essence. And it also consumes the the kidney yang, the warming function, because um, the yang function um, not only warms the body, it also, you can see it as a, a function of a, basically in Western medicine view, it's like um, your the function of your adrenaline. So, <clears throat> So this kidney yang is like adrenaline. So when uh, you have sexual activities, uh, your adrenaline will be pumping, and when you over overdo it, you constantly using your adrenaline. It's gonna be, it's gonna get tired, right? It's gonna fatigue, and then and it's not be able to um, give you a, a normal function as usual. So this. <clears throat> So it can happen to men and women both. Uh, when it happens to men, there can be some uh, uh, erectile dysfunction, so not being able to have an erection or maintain erection or uh, not being able to um, prolong the sexual activities. And for women, you can, in terms of women, you probably have like a low sex drive or um, no interest in sex, uh, that type of issue too. And um, <clears throat> so that's basically what I want to explain. Um, so let's recap. Um, so kidney chi is basically the the basic kidney functions, water metabolism, urination, sexual reproductive functions, uh, your brain activity. So. I didn't give enough uh, example for brain activities, but I will do it in a second. And uh, our bone health, our hair color, so gray hair and normal hair, and um, warming, uh, sorry, uh, exclude warming function, the, uh, the, re the storing function of, uh, of our body. Uh, these all belongs to the basic kidney function. So when you have kidney chi deficient, uh, one of these functions means uh, one of these functions is deficient. It's not, it's not normal. It's function below average. And the next thing is kidney yang is the warming function, and then the sexual, let's say sex drive, and uh, for men is the the libido and uh, the rec the erection ability and then sexual performance. And the kidney yin is the nutrient and the essence that supplies to the brain or to the uh, the fluid that produced during sex, uh, sexual activities. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically it. Um, and um, I think that's what I'm gonna talk about today and uh, we can get into more details of giving more examples of each one but um, I think the main thing I want everybody to know that is um, kidney is supposed to be storing the energy and uh, basically like a good uh, good uh, financial advisor tells you how to save money uh, not to overspend it, and not to uh, remember always putting money back to your saving account when you 
spend too much. Um, <coughs> Oh, okay. Sorry, I forgot. One more thing is like how, if you have some sort of kidney deficiency, uh, what are you supposed to do? Um, if it's not very severe, um, the best thing to do is to, for example, if you're somebody who, who tend to be m more s sexually active um, for your age, uh, the first thing to do is reduce uh, your sexual activity. Whether it doesn't matter if it's with a partner or if it's masturbation, uh, it's it's best to um, be abstinent. So stop sexual activities for a while until your kidney is able to kind of restore its function. To so basically, what happens if somebody's um, Masturbate too much for young, you know, young adults. Um, <clears throat> they're gonna deplete their kidney essence and kidney, kidney young. And when you deplete it, you need to. You're you're gonna be very tired. And the best thing to do is to kind of change the habit and also also to. The best thing to do is to sleep, actually. Um, sleep as much as you can. Actually, that will store, that will help you restore the kidney energy and to restore the energy that you spend uh, using, uh, use during the sexual activity or the energy that, the brain power that you use during studying. Um, and um, also, sorry, I forgot to mention that I know nowadays people like to go work out and do weight, weight trainings. Uh, when you're doing weight training, you're lifting something that's really, really heavy, that's over your limit. <clears throat> the first thing that helps you lift that thing is your adrenaline. So meaning you're spending your kidney young. So once you might hear peop the bodybuilders, they might have, you might have rumors that saying the bodybuilders generally don't have a good libido. They have some uh, erectile dysfunction, which is, which can be true because when they overspend their kidney young, they are not, it's for, they use it for lifting weights and they're gonna not, they won't have enough to use it for, for you know, for their brain or for their sexual activities, or it can affect their bones or even hair or anything, any of the function that I mentioned. So, um, if your condition is not very severe, best thing to do is uh, if you use if you use your brain a lot, um, try not to use it. <laughs> And uh, second is if you have a lot of sexual activities, uh, stop it for a while or reduce it as much as you can. And third thing is to sleep as much as you can. So I think the third one is mm, the easiest to do. Uh, you can sleep, you know, as much as you want. And after like a couple of days, you're catching up with your sleep, you might have like a you you will be able to gain back the the energy that you lost. But if you have been spending for many many years, sleeping for a couple of days won't do the trick. You probably need to go see a acupuncturist or a TCMP to help you kind of restore the normal functions of kidneys. And um, um, one last thing I want to mention is the also related to sexual activity. So when there is a kidney deficiency, um, you, some people might not see um, reduce in their sexual functions because it can happen that um, because the, the storing function is, uh, is gone. So kidney forgets, kidney says, okay, I'm not gonna store any energy for you 
and uh, I'm gonna just let you have as much sex as you want so this type of person will have a very very strong uh, sex drive and very high sexual desire and uh, they just keep spending 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 until one day they they couldn't spend anymore and they look at their bank account it's already gone it's, it's zero or even a negative and um, at that point it's no longer you, you probably won't be able to get it back to anywhere near normal so <clears throat> So during this uh, recovering period of um, of um, it's like getting back to healthy kidney functions, because uh, when you spend too much, your bank account is like here. You need to get back to here, and the best best thing to your body to do is to put all the money you made into your bank account, right? So your body will not let you spend any more money, not even a penny. So you can, for a short period of time, you can feel very tired, very sleepy. And um, you, all you want to do is just sleep. And you probably won't have any notice of any sexual desires or anything. It's going to be like a um, hibernation type of uh, state. So after this hibernation type of state, and you will be able to slowly regain your uh, normal functions. So um, that's it for today. And uh, we'll do the Mandarin version in a few minutes. Uh, if you like my content or have any suggestion for my future lives, Feel free to leave a message for me and uh, make a comment uh, or like my Facebook page so you'll get notifica notification for my future lives. And also you can uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, Andre Shi Traditional, Traditional Chinese Medicine, or go visit my website. It's www.andreshitcm.com. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.